Uh, hi team. Uh, till now we have discussed about uh, how to uh, set up Gatling with Java on local machine, right? And how to uh, create your first simulation file. And uh, after that, how to uh, like inject virtual users. And uh, uh, how to run your uh, Gatling simulation using a one command. If you remember, we have used this particular Maven Gatling test command. Right, to run our simulation. In all your, like you were saying, an IDE console, right? When you run this command, if you are having only single simulation file, single simulation file, okay? Then it will not be asking you to select any single, uh, like it will not ask you to select any simulation file. It will just execute your simulation file. Okay. Let me show you. Uh, right now, we are having only uh, single simulation file in our project, right? Uh, in our Lotus project. So, when I, I will just open terminal, I will clear the logs. And uh, if I run this command, label Gatling test command, right? It will not ask us to uh, like uh, which file to run, right? Which file to execute. So because uh, you can see the log here is saying simulation load testing demo simulation started, okay? Because Gatling see that like in this project, in this load test project, uh, we are having only single simulation file. That's why it just started executing this particular simulation. Now let me stop this execution, clear the console. Let me add one more uh, simulation file for reference, okay, to show just demo. I will copy this class and paste here. I will rename it to like load testing demo to simulation. Right, I need to change uh, like scenario names here. Like uh, in both the classes, scenario name should be different, okay. Now in our uh, load test project, we are having two simulation files. One simulation file, second simulation file. If we run this particular command, Maven Gatling test, it will ask uh, ask us like uh, you are having two simulation files in your project which you want to execute. You can see here. Okay, it will list you both the simulation file. Number zero is low testing demo two simulation. Number one is low testing demo simulation okay so now if you want to execute this simulation just enter one here and press enter and if you want to run this particular simulation uh, you can uh, just enter zero and it will start executing this simulation cool and let's suppose if i want to run this particular simulation file i can press enter one uh, i can press one and uh, just press enter okay it will start executing this load testing demo simulation cool so this is this is just like I thought uh, uh, to tell you like uh, if you are having multiple simulations file, then this command must be asking you like which which simulation file you want to execute. Cool. Now uh, coming back to our original topic. Till now we have uh, like uh, explored uh, these topics like uh, how to set up set up Gatling uh, with Java on local machine, uh, added POM dependencies, uh, and and after that we have created our first simulation file and uh, how to uh, inject virtual users uh, you can uh, you you know that this is a low test project and uh, in low test project we need to use multiple uh, virtual user right and uh, after that we have also like seen how to put a searches load test assertions in your simulation file if you remember in last session, uh, we have discussed about like uh, global mean response time should be less than 500 milliseconds, right? Like that. Or max response time should be less than 1000 milliseconds, right? So uh, in the last session, we have seen these searches like uh, in our simulation file. We can have these search engines, right? So we have discussed about search engines as well. Now uh, coming to the next point.
uh, we have also discussed like how to run your Gatling simulation with this command. Now today's topic is we have various injection methods. If you can see here, like in this particular setup method, uh, we like in in low test uh, simulation, right? We have to inject number and number of users, virtual users, and their insertion order or like their format insertion format can be different. Like sometimes you want to just send bus traffic to your server sometimes you need to ramp up the traffic right like uh, uh, when we start uh, putting load on a server we just gradually put the load on server or sometimes we need uh, like uh, you can say bus traffic to our system under test right we will just start sending like traffic uh, immediately right once you start a simulation so there are a lot of uh, these are called injection methods so uh, like uh, uh, like the, you can see this constant user per second. So this is injection method, right? So Gatling provides us a lot of injection methods. Today we will discuss about those injection methods. Okay. So to better understand it, uh, let me put it here. Injection methods. Okay. To better explain it, uh, let me search on Google. Uh, you can say Gatling injection methods. And this is the official documentation from Gatling. Uh, let me open this particular link. Now see, uh, this is saying, if you want to achieve injection in your Gatling load test, there are two methods. One is inject open and one is inject close. Okay. Now, uh, what do you mean by this particular open versus close workload models? Okay. So you can see here, it's saying, uh, closed system where you control the concurrent number of users okay and open system means where you control the arrival rate of users let me first discuss about inject closed or you can say uh, like a closed system when we need this particular method the question is when we need this particular injection method cool now uh there are some uh, like we can have two types of application one is let's suppose facebook.com right i'm just taking example in facebook.com uh we can have a number of users right like uh one day we can have 100k active users right and the next day we can have one you can say 101k active users right and uh, next day we can have 200k active users so we don't have any upper upper cap here right now is is facebook engineers uh, responsible to design system in such a way that it should auto scale their infra like if if user count is increasing on their server right they have to fulfill uh, requirements of all the users right they need to auto scale their infra so this is called open open system or open model in which there is no upper limit or you can say there is no upper cap on concurrent users okay or you can say parallel users then that system is called open system like we don't have any upper upper limit on uh, concurrent users like facebook cannot say at a time at a time we will be supporting only 100k users right if like facebook we we never heard that like facebook is saying we will be supporting this number this is the maximum number we can support number of users right like we can, uh, Facebook can get n number of users. They need to handle all the all the users, right? Now this is open system. Now let's talk about closed system. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's take example of uh, you can say call center. If 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 you are uh, like uh, this example is mentioned here as well. Like uh, so, these are the typical uh, two examples of uh, closed system. First example is call center where all operators are busy. Okay. Or you can say like if you are having some telephonic 
uh, call center right and uh, there are you can say max 100 telephones and uh, 100 operators so at a time like at any time they must be uh, you can say providing services to 100 users right if we are having 100 telephones on our system in in our uh, like application right or you can say i our ecosystem right at a time we will be uh, listening or helping 200 users at a time right so once one user disconnect the call then another user can be served like that so uh, this is called closed system in which we have upper upper cap on number of concurrent users Concurrent users. Good. So uh, this is like uh, one example of uh, closed system. Now another example is also mentioned here. Like ticketing website where users get placed into a queue. The system is a full capacity. Okay. Now uh, as mentioned here, on the contrary, open system have no control over the number of concurrent users. Users keep on arriving even though application have trouble serving them okay let's suppose uh, we are sending traffic to facebook.com okay and uh, once we start sending traffic to facebook and their server got uh, you can say uh, got crashed or something or they are not able to serve us but we are we can still sending traffic to facebook servers cool so this is called inject injecting method and this is an open injection cool now if we talk about this inject open method like let me clean this or oh, let me scroll down in inject open method right i can show you from code as well like uh, in this setup method uh, this is scenario name and we are using inject open method here now in inject open method we can have n number of uh, injection methods or you can say this is variety of injection like how you can inject virtual users so inject open here what is doing is it's injecting virtual users so these are virtual users okay it will be injecting but this is you can say formula to inject virtual users how and uh, you can say you can say how it will be injecting the users and how many cool and how many users and how and for what time it will be injecting a user cool so there are a number of methods let's see those methods so these are the methods right uh, like for uh, we are seeing for java open open system methods right so nothing for nothing for is like a pause for a given duration if we are using nothing for in your injection open method we can parallel write here like if you want nothing for for two seconds maybe so uh if we if we use uh, this particular nothing for method in our vector method it will pause your uh, load for two minutes sorry seconds pause for two seconds for two seconds it will not send anything it will not send any traffic to uh, our system under test okay so it, you can say it will be pausing your simulation for two seconds now next method is at once users if you are using this at once user in your script right uh, see you can see here if i am using this particular method at once user so in this particular method it will be sending burst traffic to your server okay if i am using this at once user method here and if i am executing this particular simulation you will see that it will be sending uh, this particular API for 100 users. Okay, so at once users means it will be injecting 100 users at a time. Okay, once you start the simulation, once you start the simulation, immediately it will send, it will inject, you can say. 100 virtual users to the simulation and it will send 
100 API requests. Let me soft wrap here. Good. So if we are using this at once users method, it will be injecting 100 virtual users in the simulation. And so it will be sending this particular API for each user. If I run this particular simulation, uh, it will be uh, in total it will be sending 100, 100 API requests. So let me run this particular command. Maven Gatling. Yes. So now it's asking like which simulation file you want to run. So we are working in load testing demo simulation. Let me enter the number one. Press enter. So there is some. Uh, let's see. Build the failure. Okay. Yeah. So this is your summary. Request count is hundred. So you can see here we are using at once user hundred and it's a sending 100 requests cool and uh, mean response time these are the metrics we have already discussed like uh, what are the what are the meaning of this particular uh like uh, summary report right but yeah you can see the request count is sending 100 request count and uh, i can show this html report in this html report you can click on active users right see uh, it at the, at this particular point when simulation start like it injected 100 users at a point okay and gradually users got served and it started closing the users like that you can see here it in just a second in just a second it sent uh you can say it sent approximately 100 users it injected 100 users you can see the time here yeah time is uh, 247 uh, 0, 03 and all the simulation is done within a second okay so uh at, at, at this point it injected 100 users at once okay and uh, uh, all users will be sending the api request cool uh so this is uh, you can say at once users this is uh, uh you can say given number of users like if you are passing 10 here it will be injecting 10 users uh, or if you are passing 100 it will be injecting 100 users at a once this is like a bus traffic okay you are sending a bus traffic you are it is not like ramping up in some given time once it will start the simulation it will inject the users you can put 1000 here as well it will it will just inject 1000 users here cool uh at once user is like not used uh, used in uh, like not used normally because uh, when we load test any application we need to keep running that uh, api request for long time like for one minute or two minutes we need to persist the load on our on our application or you can say system under test but yeah if you want to send worse traffic to your application at a time this is the method to use advanced user cool and uh, after that we have ramp users during five okay so what it's saying is it injects a given number of users distributed evil evenly on a time and of given duration okay so let's try this particular uh, method ramp user 10 during 5 let me comment this one ramp your 10 during 5 Tool. So let's run this simulation and uh, we will see the results. So I will be running a load test simulation. Simulation started. Simulation got executed. Let's see the results. See, uh, you can see the total request count here. So what it's doing is it will be generating you can say this is upper upper cap right it will be generating total 10 users but in five seconds okay uh how i can explain so let me close this one so now is saying is uh we need to ramp 10 users in five seconds okay so what it will do is so in five seconds means it will divide the like this load to 
inject into these five seconds. Okay. Now at first second, it will inject two users. And uh, second second, after one second, it will again inject two users. After one second, you can say at third second, it will inject another two users. After one second, it will inject two users. After one second, it will inject two users. So if we are using this particular method, ramp users, this is the total count of users we are ex expecting. And this is the duration of uh, time. Okay. So you can say it will be uh, injecting. Uh, you can say zero time. And uh, after one second, it will be injecting two user. After that, after one second, it will be injecting two users. Okay. Similarly, after one second, it will be injecting two users and after one second it will be injecting two years so yes yeah, so total simulation time will be four to five seconds approximately now here we are using five seconds if i use 10 seconds here okay then it will be adding one user per second okay so i can show you uh like it will be uh, right now we are using uh, it, it will be adding two users per second if i am passing during 10 here so it will be adding one user per second let me run the simulation file i will just put one here See, total request count is 10. Okay. And uh, so it will be injecting one user per second. Okay. So here, uh, this will be the, you can say, uh, uh, detailed, detailed, uh, you can say logic to inject users. At zero the time, it will be injecting one user. And after one second, it will be injecting one user. Okay. Similarly, after one second, after every second, it will be injecting one user uh, for 10 seconds. Good. And if we put 20 seconds here, like I, I want to ramp up users 10 during 20 seconds, then it will be injecting in this way, like zero for time, it will be injecting one user. And after two seconds, it will be injecting one user again after two seconds it will be injecting one user injecting one user till you can say 20 seconds in total so in this particular ramp up method total you can say total you are uh, uh, gathering simulation time will be 20 seconds simulation will be running for approx 20 seconds if you want to see the execution of this method as well let me show you so i can clear this i can run my one gathering test and just press one See my scenario one is taking time like one to two seconds. It will be injecting users in the form of you can see here. So uh, request count is anomaly. You to see the detailed view, just open this report, go to active users. You can see time here. Like initially we got one users and uh, two users. Two means like it it got it it. it it took time to get a response for first user so sometimes like if you are getting delay in response then a user count will be increasing but you can see here at each second uh, like uh, after every two seconds it's injecting one user you can see here our simulation started this time due to time 
and the 18th second uh our user count is one and the 20 second it added one user at 22 we have not we have one active user because previous one got served and it got closed and at 24 we have one user at 26 we have one user so you can see the time difference here so in, in all uh, like it's adding uh, user 10 times one user and time difference is two seconds okay now you can see the difference here 20 22 24 26 28 20, 30 32 34 but if i change the time to you can say 10 seconds here let me run the simulation and clear the console so let me run it for one we will just compare both the reports now it will be injecting one user at each second instead of two seconds just open this simple report and go to active user now see here it's injecting user one at e second okay but, but why showing is two here because like uh, at it's injecting user one at six six second and it started injecting user two at seven second but the previous response was pending okay so that's why total active user count is becoming two but here in the previous run we used during 20 in this we have before injecting a new user we have time difference of two seconds right in this particular example previous user got served like requests generated by previous user got a response and that user got cloned cool so this is the difference but you can understand the logic what is the logic of this particular user ramp users uh, this is the total user count that you want to generate and during is like it will be generating this this user count in this particular duration now if we are putting long duration it will be dividing automatically like it will be doing equal distribution cool yeah so let me clean this particular methods now let's see the other methods let me close the report now next method is constant user per second okay uh this is like a uh, very widely used method let me show you an example let me clean this one constant user per second during you can say 20 seconds now what this method does is it will keep adding 10 users every second for 20 seconds so it's like that simulation is like that so it will be you can say zero the time when the simulation starts it will inject 10 virtual users or uh, at the second one like after one second it will inject another users okay now there's one uh, uh, one thing to notice is notice here in this particular simulation stuff right if we are using inject to open method and uh, we are using uh, this con uh, constant users per second right in this uh, particular simulation concept like getting will not bother about the previous run like uh, it will uh, it will be injecting 10 users at your time okay and in the next second it will be sending it will be injecting 10 new users now it will not in inject open method if we are using inject open method will not worry about previous users got sub previous users got served or not i hope you got the idea like what what i mean by served served mean like if at zero time it will be gathering will be injecting tiny virtual users right so that means they will be making api request sending api request right and in the next second uh it will uh gathering will be injecting 10 new virtual users like irrespective of whether these apis got served or not okay similarly after one second you can say uh 
it will inject 10 new users 10 new virtual users irrespective of your uh, irrespective of these these APIs got served or not okay like irrespective of previous users so what we are saying is we need we want to put constant load to our application right so every second for 20 seconds every second it will be injecting 10 users 10 virtual users to simulation and in total so it will be doing the same stuff up to 20 seconds so you can see that uh, for 20 seconds at each second it will be injecting 10 virtual users so you can say that in total it will be hitting 200 api request so or if if you are using multiple http calls in a scenario you can say that uh, 200 times it will be running this particular scenario okay in my scenario i am having only one uh, http request here uh, in later sessions we will be covering uh, multiple http requests from this scenario like if you guys are having multiple http calls right uh, in this particular scenario right then uh, you can say that this particular injection method will be running this scenario 200 times irrespective of number of http calls in this particular scenario so i hope you got the idea constant user per second uh, it will be creating uh, virtual users discount every second for 20 seconds so uh, in this if you see that uh, we are running this simulation for 20 seconds and each e second we are injecting 10 virtual users so it will be uh, creating exact 200 virtual users in complete simulation and each virtual user will be will be sending api request right so in total it will be sending 200 api request right so let's run this simulation and see the results like whether we are correct or not right so let me run the command maven gatling test press one and enter So you can see the summary here see total request count is 200 so if we are using this particular injection method it will be sending 10 it will be injecting 10 users per second for 20 seconds and let me open the html port see total count is 200 here uh, or you can scroll down so total total request count is 200 and if you want to see the active users uh these are increasing right so we we actually uh, in our method we define that uh you like you can uh inject 10 users per second but if you see this graph right at e second is showing count 19 20 21 it's more than 10 now there is a reason why why this count is coming greater than 10 because like when the simulation start right you can see here when the simulation started uh second sixth right at this particular timestamp it injected 10 or 10 users right and uh all right 11 users now the problem is when this particular like in the next second when gatling injected 10 new users previous users like uh were open and they were waiting for their response okay so that's why user count is getting increased and once the previous user got the api response then they need some time to close okay then the, those users mark their users will be marked as done okay that's why it's showing active user count is more than 10. cool now let's focus on other methods 
so now another method is uh, const i user per second during 15 randomized okay this is just like this method uh, if you have seen that in this particular uh, uh, scenario uh, inject injection method it will be constantly sending 20 users per second for 20 for 15 seconds but in this particular thing it will be saying uh, so see that like it in this particular scenario uh, it will not be injecting user after every second okay it will be picking some random interval okay let's suppose uh, if i if we use this particular injection method in our simulation file let me put here let me clean this previously we have seen that it will be injecting users after one second right like zero second inject users inject 20 users uh for first second inject another 20 users right and uh, second second inject another 10 use 20 users like that up to 20 seconds but if we are using this randomized method then it will be picking any random time interval maybe it will be adding users after two seconds or three seconds or any any interval right you can see that like if we run this particular simulation file it will be giving us different behavior see uh, uh usually if we if we are not using this randomized method our total request count would be 300 right but right now it's giving us two or 299 okay and if we run it again it's not necessary that it will be giving us same count right now it's getting is hitting 299 apis uh if we run it again maybe this time it will def generate a different number it totally random we it, like it's, it will not be uh, it will not be following any particular pattern it will be totally random if we are using this randomized method in the last run we got 299 requests let's see in this particular run how many requests we are getting so see in this particular uh, simulation we are getting 294 so uh, if we are not using this randomized method we will be getting exact this number of api request in our simulation and but if we are using this randomized method it will be uh, sending the api request randomly it will maybe uh, it will be picking any random time interval right yeah so that's all about it so we have more methods like this one ramp users per second uh so let's read this so we have seen this particular ramp users uh but this was not related to uh this was total account of ramp users like it will be uh ramping this is the upper upper cap for your users right but like uh constant user per second we have ramp users per second it will be uh injecting user uh users from starting to to target rate this is your start rate like 100 to 200 you can write here let's try this ramp users per second 100 you can stand to 20 and uh, during 10 seconds so you can say this is your start user count or this is your like uh, expected user count total user count in 10 seconds cool and uh, yeah So let's run this simulation to see the results, how it's behaving.
guys see uh, total account is 150 okay and uh, why is coming 150 maybe is you can say let me uh, split it into different parts now during is tag seconds right at zero maybe it will at zero second it will inject 10 users right and uh, then it will at one second it will inject 11 right at uh, 12 second second it will inject 12 users so it will it will increase ramp count ramp user count okay so it will be injecting 10 users per second and 20 means in the last 10 seconds it will be injecting 20 20 users 20 virtual users so every time interval like after one second or two seconds or three seconds it will be increasing count 10 to like 11 12 13 14 any count but in the end it will be injecting 20 users okay this is kind you can say uh, this is you can this is like pattern of spike load testing right uh, if you guys have idea about in spike load testing we have to increase users in an increasing order right so it will it will print your graph in an increasing order like uh, first uh, like uh, first 10 users are active then 20 then 30 then 40 then 50 then like 100 200 500 it will be it will be creating a uh, increasing curve right so that is called spike load testing uh, not burst load testing so this this can help us in spike load testing cool let's see the other ones so this is randomized one like uh, uh, it will be doing the same same stuff but here time time and travel will be different if like in this particular method it will be adding user e second so you can say uh, if we are not using randomized method right time interval will be one second but if we are using randomized method your time interval can be any random number okay now last one is stress peak users and just a given number of users following a smooth approximation of the heavy side step function so guys i don't have idea about this particular method uh, we will explore it let's open this particular thing I think this is for burst load as per my knowledge. Or we can cover it later. Like I will I will give it a try. I never use this particular method, like how to use tracks peak users. Uh, this is like a burst load, I think. I, I don't think I, I I will not comment on that right now. Let me see what is this heavy search stuff function. I think this is this is like without any numbers like number of users uh, if you can put any number it will try to send as many as possible like it can send cool so this is your like these are uh, these are uh, uh, injection methods related to open model similarly uh, we have uh, inject closed like uh, I, I told you we have uh, like telephonic call center such ecosystem or uh, ticket counter in that we we should have upper upper limit on the total number of active users at a time so those are called uh, a closed model and uh, yeah so in this we are also having similar methods uh, you guys can have a look on these methods and uh, let me know if you need more details about these methods we can cover it in later later session that's for all today thank you guys